Hey guys, it's Haley here, owner of Haley Bug Art Studio. Today I'm going to show you how I make these super cute tumbler toppers with the ice and the empty bottle that I refill. I will show you how that's done in this video as well. Um, I hope you guys love this tutorial. And look how cute the lid still is. Sorry, I know I ramble. So these can be used with the, out the topper because it's still cute. I hope you guys love this tutorial. I hope it really helps somebody out. It's a lot of fun. These add a great element to a tumbler. Let's go. Come on, what are we waiting for? All right, let's get started. So to begin, I have some water with a little bit of vegetable glycerin in this little cup. I'm adding some pink alcohol ink from PDB. It's called Blush. And I'm just going to do my best to make this liquid look as close as possible to the actual drink. <clears throat> so I start with just some tiny little drops because I don't want to do too much. I don't want it to be too pigmented because it is still, um, the actual drink is still a little transparent. It's a very light pink. And then here I am realizing that it needs a little bit more. And I was getting some stringies with the alcohol ink in the water. I'm not sure why, honestly. I couldn't quite figure out why that was happening. Maybe from the glycerin, I'm not sure. Um, but I always use a glycerin water mixture for my snow globes that I've never gotten strings before, so I'm not sure if maybe it's a glycerin reaction to the alcohol ink, possibly. And then here in a minute, you're going to see me start to get excited because it's, like, beginning to match pretty well. Like, I was pretty proud of how well I was able to get this to you. <laughs> there I am getting excited because I'm like, yay, it looks like it's sexually with me. And um, definitely, um, if I sell this, I'm going to have to put a disclaimer that this is not the actual drink. It's funny because, you know, since I used alcohol ink, it does smell like alcohol. So if someone opened it and they sniffed it, they're probably going to be like, yes, this is what it says it is. It's not. It is not. Do not drink this. Don't do it. I actually end up epoxying the um the lid on because I was so afraid that there was gonna be some some idiot out there that would buy this and think that they're gonna drink their topper. I was like, we're not gonna sue me. <laughs> no siree. And then I shook it up a lot, like a kinda like a dumbass, because it does end up bubbling, but it's okay, the bubbles settle and they went away. Now, my mixture is just a tad darker, so I go and I add a little bit more um, of the water mixture to lighten it up some. But I'm still pretty proud, like, it's pretty close. Like, if you were to have this, like, no one's going to look at that and be like, mm, that's a tad darker than the actual drink. Like, it looks damn near the same. But I just add like a little bit more water so that it will lighten up a little bit. And here I am. I'm, you know, skills right here pouring from that big old jug into that tiny bottle. Okay, I didn't spill anything. Look at me. If anyone was on my live on TikTok last week, um, I made a extreme mess trying to make a snow globe tumbler. Yeah, there was water and glycerin, gl 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 glycerin everywhere. There was glitter everywhere. It was a mess. I mean, I was shaking that snow globe and my finger came loose so that it was just, all, it was all over me, it was all over the table. It was a disaster. So now we're going to go on to the lid. I took the little slider thing out and then I'm going to mix some UV resin, which this is from PDB as well. Most of my craft supplies come from PDB if you haven't already seen or can tell. And then I'm going in with Princess from PDB. 
and I'm going to mix that all together and we are about to make this lid pretty. So when, if the customer does not want to have the topper on their cup and they take it off, the lid still looks cute. It's not just some magnet sitting on the lid. We're going to put this UV resin on the lid and make it all glittery and then we'll stick the magnets in that so that it will still be cute. And I have never actually done this step before. I just came up with this step when doing this cup. And I think that for now on, if I do any toppers on any cups, this is how I will do it. Because I love that it's versatile. If they don't want the topper on, it'll still be pretty. And the little slider thing that goes on the lid can still go back on the cup. You can clip it on there and it will work. And it still looks cute. Gotta go for a little coffee break. And just like my last video, I didn't speed any of this up. Everything is in real time. So I have to come up with words to talk to you guys while, while I'm working here. Because it's taking forever. And I've said this before in other videos. I do a lot without gloves on. You should wear gloves. You should keep your skin safe. That's, you know, the instructions on these things like UV resin and any of these things. All You know, you should wear gloves. It states on there you should wear gloves. There's chemicals in these products. So this that's just a disclaimer. You know, do as I say, not as I do. Of course, it's everyone's own decision what they do, but I'm really bad about it. I, I honestly hate gloves. I, I feel like it messes with how I work. They're uncomfortable. They make my hands sweat. It's just a mess, and I just work better without them, and I've not really had any major issues. Um, so, you know, I, I'm doing fine without them, but you are supposed to wear them, so just keep that in mind if you're new and just starting out. Don't just jump in without gloves because you see me doing that. I've been doing this for a while and I know how my skin reacts and I'm making that choice myself to, to touch these things and put, you know, touch these chemicals. So just be aware that, you know, if you don't want to be touching chemicals, put some gloves on. And this part's very tedious because I wanted to be very careful to make sure that this resin was only where it needed to be and looked nice. And I probably should have done a camera angle actually showing me moving this around. But I was just spreading the resin all over the top of the cup. And I will show what the top of the cup looks eventually. And so now we're putting our itty bitty little magnets on there. I get these little magnets from Amazon. Um, I will link um, in my description most of the things I use. I'm just showing where I get them from and everything. So y'all will be able to check those links out in the description of the video. Now I just got to move my little magnet so that they're in their perfect little spots. This cup is probably like this is probably my favorite topper that I've ever made because you know just kind of like making the lid all cute and um I've done a few ice toppers before with some fruit but this was my first time incorporating like a whole bottle and everything and I think it's gonna be so cute okay I didn't show the lid yet I thought I showed it before doing this but but I will I know that I had a clip of me showing the lid so now we're doing the the bottle on there, on our topper part. My toppers are just, um, I buy these molds from Amazon that are for car cup holder things, the little coasters that go in the car cup holders, and I will link that below as well. And anytime I have extra resin from um, epoxy and cups I just pour them in those molds so that I have a bunch of these little discs lying around for when I want to do toppers for any cups and I bought the fake ice from Amazon as well 
So I'm going to use these two large ice cubes to hold the bottle in place. So I'm just going to UV resin those in place. Get them on there, girl. You be taking forever. I never realized just how long these things take me until I am doing the voiceovers on these videos. And having to come up with stuff to say while I work because I'm so slow. But, you know, I think it's better to show you guys real time and, you know, the fact that we don't all work all speedy. Like, most videos are sped up. Like, it's, it's okay to be, you know, working slowly, take your time to make sure that everything is perfect and that you're doing a good job. There's nothing wrong with that. So I'm just figuring out where exactly I want the ice placed and then putting the little UV resin on the um, bottle. And now that I have that all in place, I'm starting to put on my little crushed ice. <laughs> the crushed ice pieces also came from Amazon. And this part takes quite a while, so I just gradually place them one by one until I have a completely covered little ice thing. And there's going to be some parts here, like you see where I put quite a bit of resin, and then I just took a couple of them on there, and then I UV them on. Um, now once we start climbing the tops of these little ice cubes... Then it becomes like where I have to stick them and hurry up and light them and stick them and hurry up and light them because they will start to slide away from where you're putting them if you don't hurry up and put that UV light on them. Sorry, this is taking so long that I'm moving around. Do, 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 do. doing this voiceover first thing in the morning in my house and my dog is sleeping next to me and my husband is still in bed he was supposed to leave the house this morning and did not so now he is here and he has to listen to me do my voiceover for I believe this video is 14 minutes long so ain't that fun I'll also link this UV light as well. Um, I got this on Amazon. And I will definitely link it to show you guys because I know that um, it is very easy to get on Amazon and order a UV light and think it's going to work. And it doesn't because I had a UV light that I had bought on Amazon that looks almost just like this one that I'm using here, but it was white. And I had it for like... A year and I was like why is my UV resin like not curing I kept having to like do it under the light for a while and then I would have to put it outside for it to cure and finally I figured out that the lamp that I was using was not a strong enough light and someone told me uh, Myra makes it Judy with a T told me Myra makes it um recommended this lamp so I went and bought it and let me tell you I only have to turn it on once everything's cure but here's the lid and what it looks like with everything complete. The UV resin on the little lid with the glitter. And then I've stuck the second magnets on top of the first magnets and put a little bit of glue and put the topper exactly where I want it so that they can dry all in place. And I let that completely dry before I go to lifting that topper and playing around with it. Look how cute it is. And I did go in and add a couple more ice cubes that I didn't show on camera, but this is how it turned out. It's so adorable, and the glitter on the cup is the same as the glitter that we put on the lid. I hope you guys love this. I hope it was helpful. Like and subscribe. Love you. Bye.